on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with yet another Atlanta Falcons news video for all of you Atlanta Falcons fans. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe button. Tell you free to come chat Falcons football with you, boy. Also, join the man, Mike, membership, 199 All right, so let's get straight to it, man. Um, this is something that I, I think is very important. Um... Just some news, just some signings. Um, the Atlanta Falcons have signed running back Craig Winnells, who was uh, who was practiced this morning. This is coming from Jason, but Todd Gurley, who was previously out. You know, they, they take time with these guys and give these guys um, time to just rest. And for the most part, Todd Gurley is a veteran. Alex Mack is a veteran. Both of those guys was at practice with quote unquote load management days on Wednesday. Um, also, Olamai Zacchaeus, Brandon Powell, or Marlon Davidson aren't practicing. Um, but Dan Quinn mentioned no injuries aren't serious. Powell, Powell suffered a minor injury on Wednesday. Um, I'm just going to say this, man. I know a lot of people are really kind of up in arms with. Uh, what, what is actually going on with the Atlanta Falcons, is, especially um, Todd Gurley and his knees. And I've said this over and over again. Just don't worry about it. Todd Gurley will be fine. OK, the season comes. If there's a season, for the most part, I think there will be a season. But, you know, um, you just never know with this coronavirus things as far as things is, you know, just, just them being up in arms. Player might be up in arms about anything. Some new things might transpire. Uh, we just don't know. Um, but for the most part, it looks as though that everything will be, will go as scheduled. Um, Dan Quinn, Dan Quinn actually stated something. That I think is very, um, I think because I think this is something that's worth uh, mentioning, and it's this uh, on social justice. Okay, Dan Quinn, obviously, you know he supports his players and whatnot, but um, this is an issue that I think a lot of people need to kind of um, just give the Atlanta Falcons credit for. These guys have stand firm and they stand packed with their players. Whatever you decide to do. Whatever a player decides to do, Dan Quinn has said and stated that he, as a coach, all right, this is an, a, 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 a statement from Dan Quinn and what he decides to do with the social justice issue. And look, the statement was just how, as a white coach, can I become an ally just by saying, you know, just saying, I support you. Um, just saying support you wasn't enough and, and basically what he's saying man he wants to put his, his words to action got to he has to he has to this is what you do as a head coach this is what you do as on your words are just not enough show these guys that you are ready and willing to stand with them and this is all that a lot of the the players, whether you're in the NBA, whether you are in the in, in um, the NBA, the NFL, Major League Baseball, uh, Atlanta United, Atlanta United is a, 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 the the Atlanta United soccer team. These guys, you know, po uh, boycotted their game. They did not play on Wednesday. So you know, when it all comes down to it, man, I think this just is a good way for Dan Quinn and a lot of people to just you know to showcase their you know just showcase to the players that they are with them and this is just this is more than football this is a family affair and i, I love what dan quinn do with them but um as far as that's concerned man we've been hearing a lot about um stephen means all right stephen means as a player um, I know a lot of play, uh, people don't know much about him, um, but last year he tore his Achilles early in the season, for the most part. And Dan Quinn's, um, he's going to get these, he's going to get these guys freedom to just be themselves. All right, he's going to get them the freedom to be themselves, to speak. And if you haven't seen the video on the Atlanta Falcons YouTube channel, you can check it out. I think it goes about 20 minutes. They are allowing these players to be themselves. 
This is what a coach, this is what an organization is supposed to do. Do not allow these players to go voiceless. If they have something to say, let them speak. Because this is something that happens to them. This has happened to them in certain cases. So when it comes down to it, I love what Dan Quinn is doing with his team, man. And it just it, it, he's really just show why a lot of players just love Dan Quinn. Even when he hasn't coached these guys in years. No one has said Dan Quinn is just such a terrible head coach. So this guy is just doing his thing. And I'm telling you, man, if this continues to, uh, to, to happen, if these things continue to happen, man, um, I, I really believe and I, I really do believe that, you know, it's it's going to pay off. I believe it's really going to pay off for the guys. So uh, we definitely have um, a head coach in mind um, that, that is just going to uh, what Dan Quinn brings to this organization and what we haven't had in a long time. It's just a place where they can be themselves and a place where they just don't hate each other. These guys don't hate each other. So um, that's one thing. Another thing that I want to talk about also is the play calling. The play calling for the Atlanta Falcons will not change. OK, early in downs, you will see Dan Quinn. Um, well, not Dan Quinn, but Jeff Ulbrich. A lot of guys don't know this. If you if you do know this, um, you you know it now. Jeff Oldbrick will call plays on first and second down. On third down, it will be Raheem Morris. So Raheem Morris is definitely the defensive coordinator. He will be right there with Jeff Oldbrick as far as getting the play calling. Because you know, um, on the defensive side of the ball, um, all in a rhythm, uh, kind of put those the. the, the you know, put everything, you know, in um, a game plan, a, 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 an aggressive game plan. I think that's something you can uh, look forward to with Jeff Ulbrich. He kind of uses uh, a lot of, he is the linebacker coach. So when you have guys like Foyer Olakun, Deion Jones, Michael uh, Walker, uh, Dill Buchanan, um, these guys are going to be, have every opportunity. He's going to put these guys in position where they uh, could be uh, to you, you to showcase their talent and utilize their abilities uh, earlier down. Because a lot of get again, man, the Falcons have had issues, and they've been one of the worst. Okay, they have been one of the worst blitzing teams in the league. And what I mean by worst, they just haven't been aggressive. These guys haven't been aggressive. So when they are aggressive, the Falcons are pretty good. So I fully expect the Falcons to, you know, to kind of pick up where they left off as far as uh, the second half of the season in 2019 with uh, Jeff Obrick calling the plays in first and second down, Rash, uh, Rash, Raheem Morris, um, him calling the plays on third down. He knows how to put the, he knows how to use his uh, defensive backs. Uh, Raheem Morris does. And put these guys in a position where they can make plays. And I think this is what Dan Quinn, he can just sit back and just focus on just the defensive line. Who is playing the best right now with the defensive line? He can fo focus on the defensive line rotation, who's on, who's not. How he can utilize tack in the, in, in, in the right positions. How he can use um, Bailey, John Kaminsky. Charles Harris, um, like even Dante Fowler Jr. Who, 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 if you guys haven't seen the video with Rick, uh, Ricardo Allen, like Ricardo Allen is already saying this guy is an absolute monster. Ricardo Allen is saying this in practice right now. So I fully expect this Falcons defense to be much more aggressive. I fully expect these guys to be so much better than what it was last year. Even much better. I, even if, if they don't be much better, if they aren't as good as last year, I think they're going to be consistent. I think they're going to be consistent. So when it all comes down to it, man, I truly, truly love what I'm seeing from Dan Quinn. They're not changing 
anything from last season. You're going to have Jeff Obrick calling the plays on first and second downs. Third down is Raheem Morris. And, and Dan Quinn is going to focus on the defensive line rotation. This is exactly what we need. We need these guys to understand and have a clear vision of what they want. And this is the first time we're going to get that. So continue to support your boy here at Mad Mike Sportsman. This has been Mad Mike. This has been the update. Uh, 9 to 5 news update. If you ain't subscribed to the channel, go ahead hit that subscribe button. Join the Mad Mike membership. $199, $599, $999. All right, so let's get straight to it, man. Your boy Mad Mike is out, man. Peace.